but I reckon this to giving blood. Every drop counts. Every little drop, every penny. And now, a year later, Mike Galanos, you went back to the restaurant because they just reopened to full capacity. And what'd you learn? Yeah, Robin, I'm telling you, it was touch and go. Henry was emotional then, emotional for a different reason now as he's back to full capacity. But again, touch and go. They had to dip into their savings. Uh, they were takeout only for months, had limited in-person dining starting in the summer, but now back at full capacity. So Henry's is back to life. Here we go. Rudder, please. <laughs> Henry's Louisiana Grill, packed for lunch. And there's Henry's famous Louisiana ooh la la coming out of the kitchen every minute. Would you like some beans? Chef Henry Chandler working the crowd as usual. We keep flashing him. He, he doesn't ever throw beans at us. And it's that in person laughter, connection, that Chef Henry says he missed the most during the COVID 19 pandemic. I just can't describe the energy and the feelings deep down that you get, the satisfaction of knowing that we're back on full tilt. You know, there's nothing better. There's nothing better than a full restaurant, a full bar. I spoke to Henry last March. At the time, things looked dire. Nearly 100,000 restaurants closed on a permanent or long-term basis in the first six months of the pandemic. Now, that's based on a survey of restaurant operators by the National Restaurant Association. Now, Henry says a few things really helped them survive. First, they got two federal PPP loans. They paid for a total of six months of rent and food supplies. Second, the city of Ackworth allowed them to sell beer and wine for takeout. And third, his loyal customers. When it's to go only, were you guys here supporting him, making sure Henry survived? Yes, all the way through. We went out of our way to do everything we could this time last year. To, to be here for him, we sure did. Since reopening at full capacity May 1st, those loyal customers have been packing Henry's. People wait two and a half, three hours to eat here, and it's, it's nice that people want to come see us again and wait that long to enjoy food with us. And Henry says part of the reason for the long wait is because they've been having trouble getting fully staffed. Everybody's got to help on the time. Everybody wants them back. So we're at about, uh, I would say we're at about 80% give or take on staff right now. We're hiring every day. But he says, compared to the situation of laying off his employees last year, this is a good problem to have. On the whole, how are you feeling? You feeling like, man, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now I do. And Rob, a couple other notes as far as the mask requirement. They've lifted that. And I also talked to Henry's wife, Claudia, who really runs the joint. She says as far as staff goes, most have gotten the vaccine. Uh, they're not requiring it, though, uh, at this point. But this is just a husband, a wife, really a community that loves Henry's. It's uh, back that this rest happy this restaurant's back full tilt. You could tell from kids to older age people. That was nice. Mike, thank you.